Does your learner know the difference between the number 15 and 51 and what they mean? If not, try these five activities that you can do with your learner. Help them understand the meaning of a number and the significance of digit order coming up. All right, friends, this is a place value chart. You can make this off of PowerPoint, but of course the free download today has this chart along with some other um, things that I'm going to be showing you. So um, this place value chart I put on a protective sheet for this activity. The first activity I'll be showing you guys allows the learner to understand what ones, tens, and hundreds place value means, what each digit means. And this activity I got from the Recovering Traditionalist. I'll link her video down below. She has an awesome uh, YouTube channel of all different kinds of activities and concepts related to math. In the activity Roll to 100, you will need something to represent ones, tens, and hundreds, and I am using these. I will link um, these place value blocks um, in the description below, but you can use anything around your house. You can use um, just little counters, and then you can use sticks for the tens, and then for the hundreds, you can use um, like small blocks to represent them. In this activity, the learner um, starts to understand that ones are grouped into tens when they get a collection of ten um, ones. And we can start, uh, we'll be using some dice in this activity, and we can start with this um, simple dice. And the learner is going to roll, they'll roll a three, and they'll put three counters down. And the next learner, they could play on their own or with a partner. They'll keep rolling. So now they have six. Now they have seven. And now they have ten. When the ten happens, they are going to regroup. So this is also teaching them about regrouping. And the ten ones become one ten. And they basically keep going until they get 10 tens, and when 10 tens happens, um, these 10 tens become one 100. Obviously, you can play to a smaller number, possibly 20 or 50, depending on how much time you have with this activity. So the next activity I have is called building a number, and you can use a deck of cards. This is in the download. And basically, you want the learner to just build a number. So, say for example, you have the number of 9, and the learner um, builds. So this is 9, as in 9 ones. So the learner just puts down 9 ones, then clear the, clears the board. And say they get the number 19, a two-digit number. And something they have to understand is the first digit here is in the tens place. So it's 110, and this number is in the ones column. So they put 9 down, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So 10, um, 110, and 9 ones is 19. They can also do it where they don't even have a card, and you can just tell them to build a number. So, for example, I want them to build 25. They can count by tens. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. The next activity is similar to building numbers, but it is showing the number in a different way. So say, for example, I have the number, um, let's do a simple number, 14, and I want them to build 14, so that's 110 and four ones. And I can also show them how to build it in the expanded form. 
So this is one way to show the number 14, the numerical way. Then we have using um, a picture this way, or we can do it using the expanded form. So 10 plus 4, and that's the expanded way to show 14. The learner just learned three different ways to show a number. 14 this way, 14 using a diagram, a picture, and then 14 using the expanded form. For this next activity, the learner is to show a number, so say for example the number 20, two different ways, at least two different ways, using um, place value blocks. So you can show the number 20 doing this way, two tens or one ten and ten ones also show 20. And obviously um, these would be regrouped into a 10, thereby showing two tens. But it's really good for the learner to understand that there's different ways to manipulate a number. This next activity uh, for place value are using these cards. You can get these cards off of the download. And this is very similar, pretty much the same activity that I showed in the tens frame where we talk about subitizing. Remember, subitizing is being able to uh, identify a number of objects without counting them one by one. So basically, it's just like that um, game Say It Fast. They are to identify the amount of um, place value blocks as fast as they can. So this would be 8. This is 110 and it looks like 8 ones, so 18, 5, 16, and so on. So there you have it friends. Five activities that you can do with your learner to teach them about place value. Don't forget to grab that free download so that you can get started practicing place value with your learner right away. And the question of the day is, what kind of place value activities have you done with your learner that they've loved? If this video has been helpful for you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos come on. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!